Hi everyone. The Fram, launched in 1892, is a renowned vessel with a rich history in polar exploration. Designed and commissioned by the Norwegian explorer Fridtjof Nansen, it was specifically built to withstand the extreme conditions of the Arctic and accompany drifting ice flows. The ship's name, Fram, means forward in Norwegian, symbolizing the spirit of exploration and progress. The most famous expedition associated with the Fram is the Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen's journey to the South Pole. However, before Amundsen's expedition, the ship had already achieved notable accomplishments under Nansen's leadership. The construction of the ship Fram, launched in 1892, involved several unique design features that made it suitable for polar exploration. Here are the key aspects of the ship's construction. Hull design, the Fram was designed with a rounded hull shape to withstand the pressure of the surrounding ice. This shape allowed the ship to rise and be pushed up by the ice instead of being crushed. The rounded hull also reduced the risk of the ship being trapped or squeezed between ice flows. Framing and planking, the ship's framing and planking were exceptionally robust. The frame was constructed using heavy oak timbers, and the planking was made of green heartwood, known for its strength and resistance to rot and marine organisms. This construction provided the necessary strength and durability to withstand the harsh Arctic conditions. Double planking, to provide additional protection against the ice, the Fram featured double planking. Two layers of planks were laid diagonally, forming an X pattern. This design enhanced the ship's resistance to pressure and minimized the risk of the hull being pierced or crushed by the ice. Interior, the interior of the Fram was designed to accommodate the crew, provisions, and equipment for extended expeditions. It had spacious living quarters, storage areas, and laboratories for scientific research. The ship also had a well-equipped galley and mess area to provide for the crew's needs during long voyages. Propulsion, the Fram was initially equipped with both sails and a steam engine. The engine, powered by coal, was used primarily when maneuvering through open waters or when the ship was trapped in ice and unable to rely on wind power. The sails were used whenever possible to conserve fuel. Reinforcements, the ship's structure was reinforced with iron straps and bands, particularly in areas prone to high stress or potential damage from ice. These reinforcements provided additional strength and structural integrity. Equipment and Supplies The Fram carried a wide range of equipment and supplies necessary for polar exploration. This included sledges, skis, dog teams, scientific instruments, and provisions for extended periods of isolation in the Arctic. The unique construction features of the Fram allowed it to withstand the extreme conditions of polar regions and endure pressures of drifting ice. Its design and durability contributed to its successful voyages and its status as an iconic polar exploration vessel. The Nansen Fram Expedition, also known as the Fram 1 Expedition, took place from 1893 to 1896 and was led by the Norwegian explorer Fridtjof Nansen. The expedition aimed to reach the North Pole by deliberately allowing the ship Fram to drift with the ice across the Arctic Ocean. Here are the key details of the expedition. Objective and scientific focus. The primary objective of the expedition was to gather scientific data and make observations on the Arctic region. Nansen intended to study the natural history, geology, and meteorology of the area, as well as investigate the depth and properties of the Arctic Ocean. Selection and preparation. Nansen carefully selected a small team of experienced sailors and scientists to accompany him on the expedition. The crew underwent rigorous training and preparations to handle the challenges of the Arctic environment. Unique design of the Fram, the ship Fram, specifically designed for polar exploration, played a crucial role in the expedition. Its rounded hull and reinforced structure were intended to withstand the pressure of the ice. The ship was equipped with advanced scientific instruments and laboratories to conduct research during the drift. Departure and drifting strategy, the Fram set sail from Oslo, 
Norway, on June 24, 1893, heading towards the Arctic. Nansen's plan was to deliberately allow the ship to become trapped in the ice and drift with the natural ice currents towards the North Pole. He believed that the ice would naturally carry them closer to the pole. Drifting and data collection, over the next three years, the Fram drifted with the ice across the Arctic Ocean. The crew endured long periods of isolation, extreme cold, and darkness during the Arctic winters. Despite the harsh conditions, they continued their scientific research, collecting data on ocean currents, temperature, ice formations, and wildlife. Farthest north, as the Fram drifted, Nansen and his team made several attempts to reach the North Pole on foot. In March 1895, Nansen and Hjalmar Johansson left the ship with sledges and supplies, aiming to reach the pole. However, they encountered challenging ice conditions and were forced to turn back. Their farthest north point reached was 86 degrees and 14.6 minutes north, a record at the time. Return and rescue, recognizing that they would not reach the North Pole, Nansen and Johansson made their way southward, eventually reaching Franz Josef Land. Meanwhile, the crew on the Fram continued their scientific observations and maintained the ship. In 1896, a relief expedition led by Otto Sverdrup reached the Fram, rescuing Nansen and Johansson and bringing them back to Norway. The Nansen Fram expedition marked a significant contribution to the understanding of the Arctic region. The scientific data collected during the voyage greatly enhanced knowledge of the polar environment, and the experience gained influenced future polar exploration expeditions. The Fram's successful survival and the valuable research conducted during the drift solidified its reputation as an exceptional polar exploration vessel. Here are the major discoveries made during the Fram 1 expedition. Ice drift and oceanography. The drifting of the Fram in the ice allowed the crew to gather extensive data on Arctic ice movement, currents, and oceanography. They observed and recorded the various types of ice formations, including pack ice, pressure ridges, and leads. The crew collected valuable information about water temperatures, salinity, and other properties at different depths and locations, contributing to the understanding of Arctic sea ice dynamics and oceanographic processes. Fram's Drift The Fram's drift across the Arctic provided crucial evidence that the ice was in constant motion rather than stationary, as previously believed. The ship's trajectory and the time it took to cross the polar ice cap demonstrated the concept of ice drift and helped to refine understanding of Arctic ice dynamics. New Land Masses During the expedition, Nansen and his team made several sledge journeys across the ice, venturing far north of known land. They discovered and mapped new land masses, including what is now known as the Franz Josef Land Archipelago. The discovery of these previously uncharted lands expanded knowledge of the Arctic geography and added new islands to the world maps. Wildlife and Natural History The expedition collected significant amounts of data on Arctic wildlife, making numerous observations and recordings. They observed and documented polar bears, seals, walruses, various bird species, and marine life. Their findings expanded knowledge of Arctic ecology, behavior of Arctic animals, and the distribution of wildlife in the region. Polar Plateau Based on his observations and measurements, Nansen proposed the existence of a vast polar plateau in the central Arctic region. Nansen believed that this ice-covered expanse would make travel to the North Pole extremely challenging due to its flat and featureless terrain. Although the Fram 1 expedition did not directly reach the North Pole, Nansen's theories about the polar plateau influenced subsequent expedition strategies and understanding of polar conditions. Sledging techniques and equipment The Fram 1 expedition pioneered innovative sledging techniques and equipment that greatly improved Arctic exploration. Nansen introduced the use of skis for travel over the ice, which increased mobility and efficiency. 
The expedition's sledging techniques, including the Nansen sled design, were specifically developed for pulling heavy loads over the Arctic ice, reducing friction and increasing maneuverability. These discoveries and observations made during the Fram 1 expedition significantly advanced scientific understanding of the Arctic region, including ice dynamics, oceanography, wildlife, geography, and the challenges of polar exploration. The knowledge gained from this expedition laid the foundation for future Arctic expeditions and research. The Amundsen South Pole Expedition also known as the Fram 3 expedition, took place from 1910 to 1912 and was led by the Norwegian explorer Ole Amundsen. The objective of the expedition was to be the first to reach the geographic South Pole. Here are the key details of the expedition. Preparation and Departure Roald Amundsen meticulously prepared for the expedition, studying previous polar explorations and learning from the experiences of others. He secured funding, assembled a skilled team, and obtained the use of the Fram, which had previously been used in Nansen's expedition. Modifications to the Fram The Fram underwent modifications and outfitting to adapt it for the journey to the Antarctic. The ship was equipped with additional coal and supplies, including provisions for the sled dogs that would be used during the expedition. The interior was also adapted to accommodate the crew and the specific needs of the expedition. Voyage to Antarctica The Fram set sail from Norway on August 9, 1910, and made its way to the Bay of Wales, located on the eastern coast of Antarctica. This area served as the base camp for the expedition. The ship's robust construction and ability to withstand icy conditions were crucial for navigating through the treacherous waters of the Southern Ocean. Establishing a base camp Once the Fram arrived at the Bay of Wales, the crew began unloading supplies and setting up a base camp. This base camp served as a launching point for the various expeditions and as a place to store provisions. Journey to the South Pole Amundsen and his team, which included a group of skilled skiers and sled dogs, set off for the South Pole on October 19, 1911. They followed a route along the Axel Heiberg Glacier and ascended the Polar Plateau. The team made use of the sled dogs to transport supplies and equipment. Successful arrival at the South Pole On December 14, 1911, after a grueling journey, Amundsen and his team successfully reached the geographic South Pole. They planted the Norwegian flag at the pole, becoming the first explorers to officially reach this landmark. Return and Success Following their achievement, the team retraced their steps back to the base camp at the Bay of Wales. The return journey was challenging, but they managed to navigate through difficult terrain and adverse weather conditions. The Fram, with Captain Torvald Nilsson at the helm, was waiting at the bay to transport the team back to Norway. Legacy Amundsen's successful journey to the South Pole aboard the Fram solidified the ship's reputation as an extraordinary vessel for polar exploration. The expedition was a remarkable achievement, and Amundsen's meticulous planning and execution set a benchmark for future polar expeditions. The Fram's involvement in Amundsen's South Pole expedition showcased its resilience and reliability as a polar exploration ship. The success of the expedition marked a significant milestone in the exploration of Antarctica and established Amundsen as one of the most celebrated polar explorers in history. Following Roald Amundsen's successful expedition to the South Pole, the ship Fram continued to be utilized for various scientific and exploration missions. Here are some details about the ship's post Amundsen expeditions. The Mawson Australasian Antarctic Expedition 1911 1913. After Amundsen's South Pole expedition, the Fram was loaned to the Australian geologist and explorer Sir Douglas Mawson for his own Antarctic expedition. The Mawson Australasian Antarctic Expedition aimed to conduct scientific research and exploration in the uncharted regions of East Antarctica. The expedition involved several teams conducting geology, meteorology, and biological studies. 
The Fram served as the base for Mawson and his team while they carried out their investigations on land. The ship provided essential support and shelter during the expedition. The Norwegian Arctic Expedition 1918-1925 In 1918, the Fram was once again used for an Arctic expedition, this time focusing on the northern regions. Led by Roald Amundsen and later by his brother, Leon Amundsen, the Norwegian Arctic Expedition aimed to explore the uncharted areas of the Arctic Ocean, particularly around the North Pole. The expedition involved several scientific studies, including oceanography, meteorology, and magnetism. The Fram served as a floating research station and a base for launching smaller expeditions on the ice. The ship's reinforced hull and design proved vital in navigating through the icy waters of the Arctic. The Svalbard Expedition 1925 In 1925, the Fram undertook a brief expedition to the Svalbard Archipelago, located in the Arctic Ocean. The expedition aimed to conduct geological and biological research on the islands. Led by the Norwegian geologist Gunnar Isoxin, the expedition explored the glacial formations, collected geological samples, and studied the flora and fauna of the region. The Fram provided transportation and accommodation for the team during their research activities. Later Years and Preservation After its extensive service in polar exploration, the Fram was retired from active duty in 1929. Recognizing its historical significance, the ship was preserved and eventually converted into a museum. The Fram Museum in Oslo, Norway, was opened in 1936 and showcases the history of the Fram and its expeditions. Visitors can explore the ship and learn about the scientific discoveries and achievements made during its various expeditions. The museum also houses exhibits on polar exploration and the lives of the explorers who sailed aboard the Fram. The Fram's post Amundsen expeditions further contributed to scientific knowledge and exploration in both the Arctic and Antarctic regions. The ship's durability, specialized design, and ability to support scientific research made it an invaluable asset in the pursuit of understanding the polar environments. Thanks for watching.